Hello viewers, myself Puneet, your German trainer, welcome you to my channel Indo German Rights with another informative video in the German grammar series, German Grammar Made Easy with Indo German Rights. And today we are going to learn about the modal verbs in German, the modal verben of Deutsch, the modal verben of Deutsch. At first, let's try to understand what are modal verbs or modal verben. Modal verbs or modal verben are those verbs which come together with the main verb in a sentence and they change the meaning of the verb slightly. And they are mostly used to express necessity or possibility to do something. So in a sentence where the main verb expresses the activity which is to be done, the modal verbs express the necessity of that action or the possibility of that action. So let's see and understand this better with the help of some examples. So let's take a very simple sentence to understand this. I cook. So here the word cook is the main verb which is telling you the activity which is being done by me. That is I'm doing cooking. I cook, right? So that is the main verb. Now, if I want to change the mood of the sentence slightly, I want to express the possibility or necessity of cooking, I can change it with the help of modal verbs. So let's see how. So if I want to express that I have the ability to cook, that is, I can cook. I can cook. So now the mood has been changed. So previously I cook, but now when I say I can cook, now I'm expressing my ability that I can cook. Now, if I say I want to cook or I like to cook. So here in both of these sentences, I'm expressing my desire for cooking. That is, I'm not cooking right now, but I want to or I like to. Let's take another model verb, must. I must cook. So here, it, there's a necessity that I must cook right now. I have to cook. So from these examples, we can conclude that model verbs help in expressing necessity or possibility of doing something and they change the uh, meaning of the main verb slightly in order to express the corresponding situation. In German language, there are six modal verbs. In der deutschen Sprache gibt es sechs modal verben. Und die sechs modal verben sind dürfen, dürfen, können, können, müssen, müssen, mögen, mögen, sollen, sollen, wollen, wollen. And now let's see each of these verbs and understand their meaning individually. Let's learn the meaning of the verb dürfen at first. Dürfen means to be allowed to do something or to be permitted to do something. With the help of this verb, one can express permission, thus erlaubnis, thus erlaubnis, or a ban on something and ban is called das Verbot, das Verbot. For example, du darfst hier parken, du darfst hier parken. Im Flugzeug darf man nicht rauchen, im Flugzeug darf man nicht rauchen. Let's see the conjugation of the verb dürfen with various person pronouns. Ich darf, du darfst, sie dürfen, er, sie, es darf, wir dürfen, ihr dürft, sie dürfen.
Now let's learn this modal verb können. Können. Können means can in English and it expresses the ability to do something. Die Fähigkeit etwas zu tun. Let's learn its conjugation with various personal pronouns. Ich kann. Du kannst. Sie können. Er, sie, es kann. Wir können. Ihr könnt. Sie können. Examples of können. Du kannst gut Deutsch sprechen. Du kannst gut Deutsch sprechen. Er kann nicht schwimmen. Er kann nicht schwimmen. Now let's move to the next modal verb müssen. Müssen. Müssen means must in English. To have to do something. So this verb expresses the absolute necessity to do something. Die Notwendigkeit etwas zu tun. The conjugation of müssen with various personal pronouns. Ich muss. Du musst. Sie müssen. Er, sie, es muss. Wir müssen. Ihr müsst. Sie müssen. For example, wir müssen die Verkehrsregeln folgen. Wir müssen die Verkehrsregeln folgen. Du musst deine Hausaufgabe machen. Du musst deine Hausaufgabe machen. So the next verb is mögen. Mögen. Mögen means to like something. Conjugation of the verb mögen. Ich mag. Du magst. Sie mögen. Er, sie, es mag. Wir mögen. Ihr mögt. Sie mögen. For example, Tom mag Gitarre spielen. Tom mag Gitarre spielen. Die Kinder mögen keine Hausaufgaben machen. Die Kinder mögen keine Hausaufgaben machen. Moving on to the next verb, wollen. Wollen means want in English. So this verb expresses the desire to do something or desire for something. Let's see its conjugation. Ich will. Du willst. Sie wollen. Er, sie, es will. Wir wollen. Ihr wollt. Sie wollen. So here you can see with ish and er, sie, es, wollen is conjugated as will. Ich will, er, sie, es will. Here it's really important that you don't confuse this will with the English word will, which is having the same spelling. In English, the word will is used to make sentences in future tense. For example, I will go to London. I will bake a cake tomorrow. But in German language, will refers to desire to do something. For example, Ich will nach London fliegen. Ich will nach London fliegen. Wir wollen eine Pizza essen. Wir wollen eine Pizza essen. So here the persons are expressing their desire. For example, to fly to London or to eat a pizza. Moving on to the last modal verb, sollen. Sollen. Sollen means should. Should. The verb sollen expresses that one should do something. So it may be because somebody has recommended him to do that. Somebody has told him that he or she should do that. Or maybe it's because of society norms which require a person to behave in a particular way. Let's learn the conjugation of the verb sollen at first. Ich soll. Du sollst. 
sie sollen. Er, sie, es, soll. Wir sollen. Ihr sollt. Sie sollen. Examples of verb sollen. Du hast zugenommen. Du sollst mehr Sport machen. Du sollst mehr Sport machen. Tim ist krank. Er soll zu Hause bleiben. Tim ist krank. Er soll zu Hause bleiben. So that was everything about the meaning of various modal verben. Now another important thing to be learned is the position of the modal verb in a sentence. Die Position eines modal verbs in einem Satz. So always remember when a modal verb comes together with a voll verb, the main verb in a sentence, it always comes on the second place and the voll verb, the main verb, that comes at the end of the sentence and only the modal verb gets conjugated whereas the voll verb, the main verb, which comes at the end of the sentence, it remains in its infinitive form, in its grund form. Let's understand this with the help of few examples. Du darfst den Hund nicht ins Geschäft mitnehmen. Du darfst den Hund nicht ins Geschäft mitnehmen. So here you can see the modal verb dürfen. It has been conjugated according to the personal pronoun du. Du darfst. And darfst is coming at the second place. At the second place in a sentence, Whereas the fall verb mitnehmen, it is coming in its infinitive form, as you can see from the ending en at the end of the sentence. Next example, Tobias kann gut Gitarre spielen. Tobias kann gut Gitarre spielen. So here you can also see the modal verb kennen. It has been conjugated according to the third person Tobias. Tobias kann, and again coming at the second position in the sentence. And the fall verb spielen, it's coming at the end of the sentence in its infinitive form. Another example, du musst jetzt ins Bett gehen. Du musst jetzt ins Bett gehen. So, must, second position, and fall verb gehen at the end of the sentence in infinitive. Another example, Kinder mögen Schokolade essen. Kinder mögen Schokolade essen. So, mögen, second position, and essen, voll verb in infinitive at end of the sentence. Ich will Spanisch lernen. Ich will Spanisch lernen. So, here, modal verb wollen has been conjugated according to the personal pronoun ich, ich will. And it's coming at the second place and lernen in infinitive at end of sentence. Ihr sollt im Bibliothek leise sprechen. Ihr sollt im Bibliothek leise sprechen. So here also you can see modal verb sollen conjugated with ihr, ihr sollt. And coming at the second position whereas fall verb sprechen coming in infinitive form at the end of sentence. So that was everything about the topic modal verben. I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe my channel into German Vibes for my upcoming informative videos on German language. So see you next time. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.